Hello everybody, it is me, Empress Katuzi, and today we're here talking about ReZero, Starting Life in Another World, Season 2, Episode 2. So, so far, I've only watched the 9 minutes of this episode, really need to say that each episode. I've only watched the first 9 minutes, and so far, nothing really happened, but man, the atmosphere. <laughs> like, it just makes things seems, it just makes things seem very ominous. There's like, like, you, like, it seems very empty, like, they went to, like, the beginning of this episode was them leaving Krisha's mansion and leaving, like, Felix and her groups behind to, like, take the villagers and Amelia and, like, Rem back to Rosewald Mansion. So then they leave and they go to, like, the village, like, near the mansion and literally no one's there. Ram is missing, like, all the villagers are just gone. And apparently they went to a sanctuary, which which is the place that was going to keep them safe. Because I guess half of them went with Amelia and the other half stayed behind at a secret place. And, and like, both Amelia and the Subaru were just like, we don't know this place. <laughs> We do, we have no idea where this secret place is. Even only Ram knows this place, and like also at the beginning of the episode, like uh, like uh, like Subaru was was just like was like oh it's gonna take me two months in order for me to use my his gate in order to use his like mist powers and all of his like w w was it wicked like stuff you could only do like very like very underhanded means like very pretty much like thief powers because he has the darkness element and he's like oh I can't use it for two months but in these two months nothing bad's gonna happen he's like oh wait did I just set a death leg. I really like that uh, meta right there. I ended up uh, having to like you know check out Roosevelt Mansion to see if he's there and to see what's going on and to like be like like to find it like to at least ask Beatrice like uh, if she knows like where the sanctuary is in order to like get Ram and the villagers out of there to like have them come back to like the village since everything is fine right now. And then they end up going there and they end up seeing a new maid and man. <laughs> Her name is Fedrica, blonde cute i really like the characters that they have with like the shark teeth it just for some reason it just looks very cool and very cute at the same time and like that hairstyle that she has is pretty awesome as well it's like messy but not messy at the same time i just like the way it looks and then they end up talking to her and then of course this maid that used to be a maid but isn't but uh but wasn't but then rejoined said that she also doesn't remember ram whatsoever and she's just like yeah i have no idea who she is but she does look like ram so there is something like that and then we have subaru uh Amelia seeing subaru like like uh being very worried and being very caring towards her and then uh we saw Amelia like dur like during the carriage rides there uh, Amelia like told Subaru that, that he's being very uh, selfish <laughs> with with him uh, liking Rem as much as as uh, as he likes uh, her, <laughs> and then he's he's like I know, but but you just need to believe it that I just love you both the same. Amelia ended up saying that that her desire to like uh, be in the uh, be one of the uh, uh, what was it I don't know one of the participants to be the queen. Or to be the ruler of the of the land of the continent and stuff like that of the kingdom, <laughs> to be the ruler of the kingdom, uh, she said that's that, that's a very selfish reason. And then like I was remembering this, oh yeah, we we don't really know like why she wants to be like the ruler because I know that one of the reasons was that she doesn't she didn't want to be recognized as the uh, as Atella. But then I have no idea what her actual reason to be the ruler is. Like I know that she wants it, and she wants it like as much as like the other people, but. And it's a very selfish reason because some of the other participants, the candidates, candidates, those are the words, that's the words I was looking for, have like very, I guess, different, like, like more profound reasons and they say what their reasons are, but then Amelia so far hasn't said her reasons whatsoever. And she's like, I guess, like the underdog in it, especially with her, like people hating her because she's a half elf. They end up having a conversation with Fedrica about Rem and then they ended up like saying how long uh, Rosewald will be back, back in the match and he still hasn't returned yet. So then now, uh, Frederica told them to check to check with Beatrice to see if she knows in, uh, information. So that's the first nine minutes. So far, nothing nothing much happened, but we still got Im information and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll be back in the next uh, few seconds to review the middle parts of this episode. Okay, so I just got finished uh, watching around the nine minute mark until about the seventeen minute mark. So wow. <laughs> so we had Subaru meet up with Beatrice. And they ended up having a conversation with them, having their usual bicker. But then Subaru showed her the gospel, the gospel from Beltegius. <laughs> And like man, like I've seen like the images of like uh, Beltegius's past and stuff like that, and I I can see why there'd be a connection between, uh, you know, oh man, there's like something that I could say about Beatrice right now because like I know something from like one of the what if stories. I'm like, dude. <laughs> so then we see like her like uh, being like, wow, I guess I guess uh, she asked like where he got it from, and he said that he got it from Beltegius, and then she like asked what happened to him, and then 
said that he uh, superhero said that that he killed Beltigus, and then like she, and then she mentioned Beatrice mentioned something called the Witch Factor, and then Superior's like, "What's the Witch Factor?" And she's just like, "Well, why did you kill him? You didn't know about the Witch Factor." And I was like, "Witch Factor? What the hell is this stuff? This wasn't even mentioned in like the first season, unless it was, or if it was skipped." But I'm assuming that his Witch Factor was where where the hands coming off him. But then at the same time, he said, like Beltigus said that that was the witch's love, like like the witch's love were the thing that made him cut off his fingers to make hands come out of him, all those dark hands. So I'm assuming that that's what his witch factor is, like some like your ability, like your abilities are a witch factor. I'm assuming maybe it's something else, but I'm assuming that that's it. And then we had like uh, Subaru asking uh, Beatrice about about Rosewald Summit. Like I have no idea where this is, where this was coming from. Maybe I missed something in the certain episode. But he's just like, I really need to know about Rosewald. There's something secret about Rosewald. I need to know how he thinks and what his like mindset is. And I was like, dude, where is this coming from? Like I, I like I get that that he is always like a secret guy, but like him wanting all this information about Rosewald just came out of nowhere. At least for me. Like unless it's like go unless the information about him is going over my head, so then he ends up like and then like the Frederick uh, Frederica said that Beatrice knows Rosewald well and like knows how he thinks or at least knows like bits and pieces and she can like I guess be able to like learn off him and stuff like that. But uh, to ask Frederica where the sanctuary is because she doesn't really want to tell him. She just want she just wants Frederica to tell him. And then uh, afterwards, I forgot how the argument happened, but I guess Super wanted to have no more information, but then but then Beatrice ended up getting angry and then like you know pushed him out of like the forbidden library because Super can just find it. I guess it's because it's just his intuition, like he just <laughs> because of how because uh, she Beatrice did call him weeks and she he can just open up a random door and then find her every single time. Afterwards, when he left, he ended up uh, having a conversation with Amelia again and then ended up finding out that. That uh that they don't even need to that uh, Frederica is just gonna tell them about the sanctuary and then tell and then uh in order for them to to leave like she has to not go and then told and then told them that uh that when they get to the sanctuary there's a guy named Garfield that uh, that's good, that they need to be very wary about and they need to keep an eye on and stuff like that and then we ended up finding out that Otto needs to take them there and then Otto wants to help them out because he needs to gain favor with Rosewald in order to like have a job because before he was like a merchant guy. I really like the this like last episode. I really like the the relationship between Otto and uh, and Subaru. It's just so weird how that works. I mean, also like right before the conversation, Amelia was talking to Otto and Frederica and told uh, Frederica about how amazing Subaru is because I guess she asked how about like Subaru's like character and stuff like that. And like when then once he came back, she's like, "Wow, it's amazing that you're all that you're able to to like find the Forbidden Library so easy. That's not something that anybody can do." And he's just like, "Wait, what?" And then he's like, damn, man, I can't believe I missed, I can't believe I missed Amelia Tan talking so nicely about me. And then after that, it ended with, uh, I guess, two days later with him saying goodbye to Rem, seeing Rem just laying there. And he was just like, be well. And then he ended up leaving the room and we, right before the 17 minute mark. We see Petra. Petra is going to become a new maid in the match because I guess uh, Rem is in, is in commission and Rem is at the sanctuary. So they need two maids to like take care of like this huge mansion and and then uh, Frederica, and then now we have Petra being a maid. Like I said a few seconds, if I did mention her name, but now we have two maids together, and then she's like telling Subaru that she's an adult and stuff like that. And then like, what was it? The what if like harem route, <laughs> dude? I can't believe that Petra Petra is a part of the harem route, by the way, with all of the candidates, which is just weird. If she's like twelve years old, I also found out that that Frederica is a beast girl, so that makes sense with her sharp teeth and stuff like that. And whatever type of beast she's mixed with, I'm wondering about that. But yeah. Uh, that's what happened in the middle of parts of this episode. So far, they still haven't given us an intro song and an outro song yet. So I'm wondering if they're going to give us like an intro as the outro of this episode or like an outro song or something like that. I wonder, if, wonder when that's going to happen. I guess like they didn't do that in the first season. The first, I think, episode and second episode didn't have that. So maybe they might have it. But yeah, I'll be back in a few seconds to review the ending of this episode. So uh, yeah, see you soon. Hey, I am back after watching the last ending of this bit of this episode. Man. So much to talk about, but I guess I'll just talk about, like, I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say. So then Frederica, no, no, Petra and Subaru were having their conversation about, uh, about, like, about, like, her being, uh, her duties as being a maid and stuff like that. And Subaru, like, told her to, like, take care of Rem and also to take care of Beatrice. And she's like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do so much work with it. And Subaru's like, well, you're the only person I can depend on. And Petra just gets all excited. It's like, Oh my God! Super wants me. He wants me to, to depend on him. It's like, okay, I'll do it. I'll, I'll like do all the all these things for you. And then they ended up uh, getting ready in their cares to leave. And then, 
And then uh, Petra ends up giving Subaru like a handkerchief around his arm to like to let for him to bring back that handkerchief like dirtied or like still be clean when he returns. I guess it's sort of like this thing where you like tell someone like when they're going on a journey to like not die. It's like don't die and return. I like now this sanctuary. You're like going to a place that has like the other half of the villagers and also Ram and and also Rosewald if he's also there. And it's just a place for them to be protected, so that way they they aren't they don't they weren't gonna get killed by the witch cultists. Yet there's so much work just to get there, <laughs> and literally they're friends, they're allies. Yet they have to go through so much trouble just to do it. So then we have Frederica give Amelia like this crystal thing that will help them like be able to get through like this forest. And like the forest was called like the forest of Calmaldi, but it almost sounds like forest of calamity. <laughs> That's really what it sounds like. Like, maybe that's what they were going for, for, like, it almost sounding like something else. Unless that was, like, a mistranslation. But we have her give him that, and then we, we have them say, like, goodbye to them. And then we see Frederica pull out, like, a like a letter from Rosewald, or I guess her master, which I'm assuming is Rosewald. And then she, and then it was like, oh, my God, Rosewald's master plan. He had the plan. So then they end up uh, re at getting uh, returning to the forest, and then Subaru tries to, like, uh, help out uh, Amelia from feeling worried about, like, them going through this stuff, and then makes her feel better but then the crystal has a light appear and like the crystal is like shining very brightly and, he, and then Subaru is just like oh my god there's I, I feel something ominous happening I need to do something so then he rips the crystal off of off of Amelia opens up like the the door to the carriage the window and was about to throw it out but then Amelia falls over and is unconscious and he's like wait what's what's going on why did she just go unconscious and then the light was too bright and then Subaru just ended up teleporting like into the forest outside of the carriage and he's like somewhere else and then he ends up seeing a pink haired elf girl like run away and then he follows her and he ends up at like a ruins now i don't know if they're skipping anything or if this is like point by point. i know that you can't i know that you can't do everything in like a book like from like the web novel and stuff like that and maybe the light novel but i don't know if they skip stuff like at all people could tell me in the comments if you watch this far in the video so then he ends up following her and once he like goes into the place he ends up like hearing a voice and then he ends up uh, like hearing a voice saying, oh, so you have a desire to like do this, blah, blah, blah. And then he ends up being teleported to like a grassy field from like the trailer. If you've seen the trailer where he's like in like this grass field, like a whole bunch of dead bodies and he walks up to like this lady sitting at like uh, a tea table, just sink sipping on her own tea, like a, another white haired like girl in like a black dress, purple black dress. So then he ends up uh, appearing there and then he ends up looking up and then sees the girl and then she's like, oh. Hello, uh, nice to meet you. And then she ends up saying, I am the Witch of Greed, Echna, Ech Echida, Ech Echnida, Echnida. <laughs> I don't really know how to say it. But then he, but then I wonder what his reaction is going to be, because his reaction was like a surprise face on what's going on. And he ends up seeing her. And then like, damn, man. And then we saw, I'm assuming at the end of the episode, they showed either the outro or intro. I'm assuming it's the intro. And man, that intro it's so good. Like, it's really as good. Like, it's like a good, like, continuation. I said this, I said this last episode, it's like nothing changed. It's like the story just continued. Like, it's been four to five years, and it's like nothing has changed. Like, literally, this is a good successor for, like, a third opening. First opening, good. Second opening, good. Third opening, good. And, man, that one shot, like, after, like, that one shot of Subaru, like, at the very beginning of, like, the, of this intro, which I'm assuming is the intro, is just, man, that face that he was making, that's so cool. That serious face that he's making. It's, it's almost as cool as, like, his regular serious face, like, when, when he said that he wanted to, like, defeat, like, the rest of the cultists and stuff like that when he was worried about Ram, I mean, Rim last episode. Like, damn. Like, the rest of the intro is so good. There's even parts where, like, they had, like, these, like, where the screen went black and they showed Kanji and, it's, and like, Subaru says, no matter how many times I die, I'll save you. <laughs> like, dude. And then when we have, like, a shot where, like, Tella's, like, hand was going up to, like, Subaru's heart and was about to crush it, but then it turned into, like, Amelia, like, a silhouette of Amelia. Uh, covering like covering up uh, putting her arms around him like like she did last episode and comforting and comforting him and I don't know what type of words she mouthed I don't even know if they showed the black screen kanji they even showed it like turning red when it said how many times I die red man that intro is so good it's even like the music it's just so good I can't wait to see what the outro song is like to see how much it matches like even like the ending of the, the intro is showing the witch of great Etchna just smiling <laughs> Like man, I can't wait to see how this goes. I can't wait to see how this this sanctuary and how this ruin works. Like I'm really wondering, like like what what this conversation is gonna be like. Like I know some stuff because like around like around like him meeting this chick, or at least at some point in her, in in his conversations with this with this greed with this witch of greed is like when I it was when I got into the web novel because I skipped a lot. Like this begin like this last episode and this episode I pretty much skipped in the web novel and I pretty much just came at a random point. We even saw like shots of like. 
the real world in the intro and we maybe saw shots of like i think super was like family so i'm really wondering where that goes but yeah this was a great episode i really enjoyed it if you enjoyed my thoughts on this episode and uh what i thought about it <laughs> i've pretty much said that twice but uh, leave a like if you didn't enjoy my thoughts or what uh, if you enjoyed my thoughts what's everything leave a dislike and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video next week let's see what happens hope you have a nice rest of your day and uh bye see you later